How you guys doing? Well, this time, this video, I want to discuss something. A door lock. Medieval. Probably not period. For those of you who don't know period means, period means they probably wouldn't have used it back then. This is just a lock. It's a combination lock. A puzzle combination lock. I want to discuss a little bit about this. <clears throat> but you're thinking what? Why? Well, I made it. Why else? And unless you know the combination, you can't get in. See? Unless you know how to do it. Hmm. Hmm. There. Now, you're asking, how did he do that? How? Too bad, I ain't gonna tell you. <laughs> Just kidding. Here we go. All right. As you guys can see here, we got our main uh, bolt here. And we got notches in the bolt. I don't know what you want to call those tumblers, whatever. Coming down. We got one that's controlled up top, one's controlled the bottom. Very simple design. This guy here doesn't move much because he moves the bottom one. And then the top one, back and forth. And this is why it goes back and forth. It lifts up lifts down. The combination of the two then create the combination. Now obviously you could create tons of combinations. And I've seen many guys who are probably much better than I am at this. Actually they are. They create dummy levers. Now why would you create dummy lever? Well, technically, only the owner or those who are supposed to get in here know the combination, right? Well, a dummy lever would throw off those who don't know it. Simple, I know. I know. I don't really want to show you guys how to make it. Pretty simple. You can do it. So, go ahead, try it. We'll see what happens. Thanks! Hey, what do you think you're doing? Subscribe already! Subscribe!